This is Pager. He's currently involved in some pretty hardcore animal testing, but it's not for lipstick or blush. Pager is playing Pong better than you or I ever could, and he's playing it using only his thoughts. Pager has a chip in his brain called The Link, which is a creation of Neuralink, Elon Musk's company that wants to connect humans and computers. Musk says The Link is like a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. Here's how Pager can play Pong using only his thoughts. The Link has been surgically implanted into his brain by a robot. It records what he's thinking as he plays Pong and sends that data to a computer where it's processed and analysed. So the next time Pager goes to play Pong, the computer recognises those same thought patterns and moves the paddles without Pager having to lift a finger. So he's literally playing Pong just by thinking about it. The link is just like all artificial intelligence. You have to give it data to train it. First, it records how you do a task. Then a computer remembers it. And once the link has all the info it needs, the task can be completed just by someone thinking about it. But why does this exist? The team behind Neuralink say their main goals are health-related, to help people with paralysis, limited mobility, or other disabilities to regain their independence. Neuralink isn't the only company working on brain tech. Others like Kernel, Emotive, Neurosky, and even Facebook are exploring these areas too, and are developing quickly. But we'd be naive to think that health is the only motivator here. Musk has voiced his concerns about AI taking over the world before, and he thinks that merging humans and computers through something like Neuralink is the solution to this problem. I think it's incredibly important that AI not be other. It must be us. He wants this fusion of human and computer to create a breed of super intelligent humans to stop us from being dominated by an inevitable AI takeover or becoming their pets. But what if the chips got hacked? Like any other computer, the link could be vulnerable to hacking, which organisations like the Forbes Technology Council have voiced concerns about. A hacked chip could physically injure or alter someone's brain, or could even manipulate our decision making and control our every move. People could also hack the link to advertise things to us. Imagine, instead of ads being targeted to our phones, they could go straight to our brains. And this tech is probably going to cost an arm and a leg, or a brain, which makes it super inaccessible. Reports show that 3.1 billion people don't even have access to the internet, so this could be furthering the digital divide that already exists. But that's assuming that this actually happens. At the moment, the link has only been tested on animals like Pager, but Musk plans to start trialling the technology on humans by the end of 2021. Any takers?